Hey, I'm making a little introduction video for ANSI 345 for the fall, and it's, <coughs> excuse me, Animal Health Management, call, yeah, Animal Health Management, ANSI 345 for the fall 2021, and I wanted to start getting the class members to start thinking of a couple assignments. If you know how the brain works, if somebody says, this fall you'll be having to do this assignment and it's worth so many points and I'll show you the syllabus in a little bit, you'll say, wow, I can start thinking about it now. This is Diesel. Diesel and Annie are litter mates and so they've been together ever since their in utero days. And we, we live out in the country, so we always have some animals. I think we peaked out years ago at five dogs and four cats. And my wife said, if we go to double digits, I'm moving to town. She said jokingly, I think. Anyway, you're going to make two educational videos that you'll be presenting in class. Let's say it's a 12-minute presentation on canine bloat or hyperthyroidism in cats. And if you have something personal or something with a horse, a horse that had colic and you can take pictures this summer of before and after things and resolutions and all that kind of stuff, that would be so neat. So I'll reemphasize that. But think about making educational videos that you know something unique about or want to learn about and then you educate people for many years in advance. Years ago, I used to have people make presentations and classes, and then when they ended, it was gone, right? There was a vapor, not okay? Because nobody else saw it except the class members. But I found out with YouTube that people like this stuff, and sometimes from around the world, they don't have a lot of access to a lot of educational material. <clears throat> so I want to tell you about one example. Remember, you're going to make two of these presentations. We'll videotape them like I'm doing myself now. And it'll be something on animal health management. Something about herd immunity. We've heard of a lot about that. Can you really explain herd immunity? Uh, I've taught my classes about herd immunity forever, for decades. Anyway, here's one. Tara made this video. Two and a half years ago, so this fall when I see you in class, it'll be three years ago. She had this video she made. It was a presentation in class. I recorded it, and I'm going to link to it, too, in my introduction. Um, <clears throat> anyway, it was called Suspensory Ligament Injuries in Horses. Don't hurt yourself, Annie. And it was well done. She, she had a horse that had that injury, so she was really kind of living through it. God. Okay, sorry. She just about ran into something. Anyway, Tara made this video, Suspensory Ligament Injuries in Horses. <laughs> Don't run over the camera. Two and a half years ago. It's viewed every hour of the day. One view an hour, so that'd be 24 views a day, seven days a week, ever since it was loaded. So you could figure out how many hours there are from fall 2018 till now, early in June 2021, and that's how many views that video has. And you could prove it yourself by going to the video, and you'll see it, how many views. She I'm cringing because Annie is such a ball fanatic. She'll almost hurt herself catching a ball. Anyway, so you're going to be thinking about that good. She's laid down. You'll be thinking about these two educational videos, and I'll show you some examples. One will be that suspensory ligament injury in horses, and I get a lot of good comments on videos. And then there's another, um, the other assignment you'll see on the syllabus is basically you'll be reading articles about animal health and then making a summary of them. And maybe not such a, yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, you'll be making a summary of these articles that I find. Let's say, for example, I'm talking in class and I find out that nobody knows why 70% ethanol is a good disinfectant for 
you know, I'm sure, I was going to say inanimate things, but no, it's also a good infectant if you're doing surgery on a dog in mid-ventral area or whatever. And somebody might say, well, is it 100% better or 90% better? No, do you know what? They're not. 70% is about ideal for the best disinfectant. So anyways, we'll be doing that. I'm going to be cutting off here, and then I'll be going into my desktop and showing you the syllabus and add other things, but I wanted you to see the dogs. Okay. That's the end for this ANSI 345 video. Good puppies. Okay. Hey, I'm inside now. I left the dogs and the picnic table outside. And what I want to accomplish uh, mostly in this second part of the video is to look at the syllabus, but I want to make sure everybody in class knows how to get a hold of me or find ma material. RodAlrich.com. If you can remember my name, you can find everything. And when you go there, I'll put that up in that corner. When you go there, it looks something like this. Animal Biology by Rod. Let me get my uh, laser pointer again. Uh, so, Animal Biology by Rod. All the course material will be under here, Courses. So, when you get there, you click on Courses, and then they'll say Animal Health Management, which is what the course we're talking about right now. You might want to visit my YouTube channel. It is amazing how many um, people visit that a day. I have a blog where I talk about sometimes food recalls, pet food recalls, whatever. You can look at all this stuff, uh, the dog pictures and the DNA that were that was uh, dog visitors to classes, and then we did the swab and sent them off. Uh, anyway, so that's what that looks like, the website. But I want to do show you the places where people come and visit which is always interesting to me so this is a heat map of the last 500 hits and let me see here so this is the last 500 hits and it is amazing where people come from of course you know that there'd be a fair number from the Great Lakes area that would represent Purdue students and some of these other hot spots might represent Purdue students that are off uh, away from campus now. But it's amazing, Europe, those would not be Purdue students. China and uh, Thailand and a bunch of stuff over there. Australia, New Zealand, that's, you know, my geography is getting weak. I think that's New Zealand. I'd have to, I, yeah, I'd like to go there sometime. Anyway, it's kind of fun. People come and visit. I get emails almost every day from visitors that have come to my website okay now we're going to do the most important thing look at the syllabus I'm not going to read it word for word you can do that when you watch the video and I'll also show you uh, it's going to be on the web of course so our course is ANSI 345 I'm going to get my laser pointer going it's called animal health management we basically uh, concentrate on domestic animals and if you know what domestic animals are that's all the typical farm animals plus our pets uh, especially dogs and cats uh, so anyway we try to get people to understand about animal health it's really important look at you know we've been we're on maybe on the other side of the pandemic and look at how important health has been health uh, uh, management anyway I'm the learning coach for this course got a couple email addresses there I'm working on some TAs they will be available maybe in the background they may not come to class but they may help us especially with one of the assignments this listing of course topics is just minor a minor amount of those these are just examples I mean my gosh there's genetic diseases you know how uh, some breeds of animals um, are more prone to disease there's you know things passed by genetics there's all kinds of topics great topics and to a large extent students will be determining what we will focus on so let me slide this up a little bit oops slide it up yeah and look at the reading assignments are going to be posted 
on my website. We'll have some pertinent reading about, oh, you know, topics that come up and that I feel that not enough students know about these things, and I'll do that. And then I want to talk about class meetings. And here's a little alteration. We're not meeting Fridays. So if you're if you know somebody or if you register in this class and you say, gee, I didn't take it or I'm going to have trouble because Friday I have to like leave campus early or work or whatever. We're doing Fridays online as it states here. We're going to meet face to face Monday and Wednesday at 3.30. And then another change is we're going to do it in Lily G420. Uh, that way we can have animals come to class and uh, I'm in charge of that room. Anytime I'm assigned a room to teach, then um, I'm in charge of the room, basically. So that's going to be an alteration on your schedule. I think it says the Animal Science Building, one of the smaller rooms there. But I want G420 Lily. I got it reserved. Sometimes you get kicked out of room rooms because some other class needs it as emergency, but we'll see. So I said educational animals are welcome. Let's say you have a great day and that just went through um, surgery to prevent bloat. There's a way to do that. And you might say you want to bring him or her in and say, oh, look at that little scar there or look at the big scar. Uh, anyway, and then we also have that same room an hour after class. So if we hang a little bit to ask questions, not a problem. Okay, web page, I said that before, rawdollars.com, but I have two backups, and these are just redundant. So, like, you know, if the first one crashes for some reason or becomes infected with, uh, what do they call it, ransomware, and I don't have the $2 or less they ask for because that's all I could probably afford, then, lo and behold, there's another website that has the exact same material and then another one. And these are located different places in the world. I think uh, rawdollars.com might be in a server in Florida. I think rawdollars.2 is in Canada. And I think this Brave Host one might be in Utah, whatever. Uh, they're scattered around. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the points. And that's kind of why I want to send this out this summer. The first way is 400 points on these reading assignments. And you're going to read something uh, and make a tally of it, or we'll do something in class. So some of these might be in class. Some of them might be, you know, that online assignment. You read something about disinfectants, and then you make a summary. We'll talk about that. There's not much to do about that right now. Number two is the one I want you to start thinking about. And this is the whole main point. So focus here. Uh, students will create two videos on topics related to animal health management. And they're going to be 300 points each, gives you 600, and then plus the 400 above, you got 1,000 points for the course. The videos that you finally want to hand in should be in the MP4 file format. We'll show you how to do that. I know um, PowerPoint has a way to do a voiceover, and then it can... Uh, bake it into an mp4 file and then you'll be uploading them to brightspace and then sooner or later i'll upload them to youtube and you'll also be presenting this in class so you'll be presenting this in class get some feedback and then go and make your final copy so this is very important so what videos could you make let's say this summer you have a neighbor that has a dog that has some kind of terrible skin uh, rash and they'll let you take some pictures of it. And then you can kind of give us a case study of what the people went through. If they're good neighbors, they can tell you what was the diagnosis, what resulted in the resolution, or maybe not a resolution. Uh, maybe you have a cat that has hyperthyroidism uh, or a neighbor or a fr friend, a relative, or you're working someplace where you can document some of these things. So these topics should be something that you know about, you experienced, or that you want to learn about, okay? And I'm going to give you a couple examples in the email. Like one I always brag about, Tara made a video called Suspensory Ligament Injuries in Horses. 
And she did it in the fall of 2018. And between then and today, it gets a view one an hour, about once an hour, all day long, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every month. So it's gotten quite a number of thousands of videos and makes com and good comments. Anyway, think of something here. It could be something about uh, a bearded dragon, right? I've had bearded dragons come to class. Could be something about uh, management of laboratory rats and things to do and things not to do. Something about your experience and then the reason I'm telling you now is you can start taking pictures and thinking and taking notes. And when fall comes, you'll have part of it done, at least the rough components of it. And so that's that's my big take-home message on this video that's probably going to be about 15 minutes long total. So think about these. Animal health management. You might have some beef cows that you work with and... There was this large hematoma over the rib cage, and what was done to resolve it? Or you might have some sheep or pigs, a pig, a baby pig that was born without an anal opening. Um, something about puppies, dogs, cats. I'm just trying to name some things that you could talk about. You don't have to be an expert in them. But by the time you research it and present it in class and your classmates give you some comments or questions, man, you can, it can be polished. So then uh, most of these assignments will be uploaded into Brightspace. I know even the videos because I think the videos can be up to four gigabytes and Brightspace will still get it. Okay, so then we won't have any final exam because we've already done a lot the videos and the assignments. Some of those assignments, remember the paragraphs will like, I'm talking about these here, written summaries, might be done spontaneously in class. So be aware of that. And then the course grade is based on 1,000 points, which was up outlined before. And we do the plus minus system. I like that. And then um, hopefully the pandemic is week, week, week next fall. We'll see. But there are some links there if you ever find uh, yourself needing some more information. Okay, I think that's it. Think about those two videos that you're going to make. And you could gather information this summer. Maybe something you see at a fair. Something that your neighbor experienced with a pet. Something a relative had experienced three years ago. And you can talk about that. So anyway, that's it.